Welcome everyone to the 2020 EV Awards. I'm your host, Ben Sullins, and today what we're gonna do is look at all the new EVs that came out in 2020 and break them down by category and class, look at the specs, talk about their features, and pick the winners. Overall, there was a lot of excitement and a lot of great stuff brewing for 2020, and a lot of it didn't really come to fruition because of the pandemic, which put a kind of kibosh on a lot of these things. But there are a few highlights from the year just to talk about before we get into the categories and how the winners were chosen. First, we have a lot of new models. There are a lot of new companies getting on board, a lot of big announcements from traditional automakers, and really just a lot of new stuff happening, pushing us towards a more electric future. We also have some really large economies, California for one and the UK for the other, announcing that after a certain period of time, we're no longer gonna see any new sales of fossil fuel-based vehicles. Huge step forward. It still seems a bit far down the road, but there is a flag there that we can march towards, and I think a lot of people in this space were really excited. So a lot of good movement, a lot of good progress, and we're still, in my view, in the very early days of this whole movement towards an electric lifestyle. We also just saw that from Bloomberg, prices for battery packs for EVs, not just the cells, but the packs, have come down below $100 per kilowatt hour. It may sound like Greek to you if you're not super into this space, but what that means is that the price of manufacturing an EV is getting very close to the price of manufacturing a regular gas or diesel car. With that, we're gonna see a lot more affordable EVs coming out and a lot simpler ones and just a lot more of them that really run the gamut. Instead of the traditional side where it's really expensive, really luxury, really high performance, we're gonna see them all over the board. So. We're gonna celebrate some of that today. And of course, we're gonna talk about the more fancier stuff. But before we do, let me just explain how these were chosen. So the way we came up with these was looking at all the different EVs that came out in 2020 in the US with one nod to uh, the best foreign EV. That's a category that we have in here as well. And myself, my team collaborating with some other tech YouTubers, some other EV shows that you watch here on YouTube and just a lot of other folks in this space, folks that have websites in this space, really people that are seasoned in it, going back and forth about the merits of individual categories and individual models, looking at the specs, really kind of breaking breaking it down. So when we go through these, I'm gonna announce the winner and talk about the specs only and maybe a few more notes on it. But really there was a lot that went into it and maybe down the road we'll have those judges come forward and be a part of the show. But this being the first one, we're gonna try to keep it simple to really kind of get the ball rolling here. So with that, let's get into the first category. All right, starting out, we have our best luxury electric vehicle and our nominees for best luxury EV are the Tesla Model S Long Range Plus 2020 update. The Polestar 2. The Audi e-tron. And the award for best luxury EV goes to the Tesla Model S Long Range Plus 2020 update. Coming in at $69,420 with a 402 mile range, a 3.7 second zero to 60 time, 155 miles per hour top speed, and when the seats are folded down 60.2 cubic feet of storage, the Tesla Model S is really unmatched here. So congratulations to Tesla on their 2020 update of the Model S for the Long Range Plus Edition. For this next category, it's one of the hallmarks of electric vehicles, one of the reasons why so many people love them, and that's performance. The nominees for best performance electric vehicle in 2020 are the Porsche Taycan Turbo S, the Model S Performance with the 2020 update, and the Model 3 Performance with the 2021 update. And the winner of the best performance EV in 2020 is the Porsche Taycan Turbo S. This was a difficult one that me and a lot of folks went back and forth on, but when it comes down to it, the Porsche Taycan has better specs in the real world testing than it does on paper. We're looking at zero to 60 in about 2.35 seconds. We're looking at a quarter mile time of 10.3 seconds in some real world testing from drag times. And it has this ability to continually achieve the same performance results over and over and over again. In my own testing, when going from 70 miles an hour to 100 miles an hour, it pulls just about as hard as it does from zero to 60. Overall, Porsche made a fantastic product here and it really is second to none. 
until possibly the Tesla Model S Plaid Edition comes out next year. So this is going to be a hotly contested category year over year. So the Porsche Taycan taking the cake here and winning the best performance EV of 2020. Now, this next category might be a little bit different, not something you're used to seeing in regular car awards, and this is the Most Improved Electric Vehicle Award. What we're looking for here are cars that really made a big step up in terms of the critical specs of EVs, the things that we typically want to see improve over time. So... The nominees for Best Improved EV of 2020, we have the Model S Long Range Plus 2020 update, the Model 3 2021 edition, which came out just this last month here in like late November, early December, and then the Model X 2020 update, which is similar to what the Model S got. And the winner for Most Improved EV in 2020, the Model S Long Range Plus. With this, the Model S Long Range Plus was able to go from 373 miles of range to 402 miles of range, a big jump there. Also on charging speed, it went from 150 kilowatts to 250 kilowatts, a massive jump and one that was honestly pretty necessary for them to match what the Model 3 and Model Y already had. Also, and this is why it won, the price difference is really big here. At the beginning of the year, the Model S Long Range Plus was $79,900. As of this recording, it's $69,420. Yes, we know. And that's uh, over $10,000 difference there. That's awesome that you have a car that's getting better. It's charging faster, it has longer range, but it's getting a lot cheaper as well. This is what competition brings. So. Overall, the Model S Long Range Plus had the biggest improvement this year, and congratulations to them on yet another award. All right, now we're into yet another different category that you wouldn't see on other shows, and this is the best budget EV for 2020. The nominees are the Nissan Leaf S, the Chevy Bolt LT, and the Mini Cooper SE. The winner of the best budget pick for 2020 in the EV space is the Nissan Leaf S. It starts at $31.6,000, which is before the tax credit, and after that, you can get it down to just over $24,000. This gives you 150 miles of range in 8.4 seconds, zero to 60, and about 30 cubic feet of storage. Those specs aren't super impressive, but again, we're looking at the budget pick here. So for $24,000, you have a very capable, very functional vehicle that I think most people would be really happy with. And I think all of these cars in this category are good picks, but overall the winner for the best budget pick for an EV in 2020 is the Nissan Leaf S. Next, we have our category for best foreign EV. Now this one is where we're basically just looking at cars that aren't sold in the United States. There are still a lot of cars out there that we weren't able to consider because we don't really have access to them, me nor any of the judges that we talked to. So with this, it's really just one car that we're looking at and that's the Renault Zoe. The Renault Zoe comes in at about 26,000 pounds or 35,000 USD as of the time of this recording. And that gets you 245 miles of range, which is tremendous. That's actually a really great deal. It doesn't have a great top speed, 87 miles per hour and a zero to 60 of 9.5 seconds. So this isn't a car that's gonna be, you know, competing in any of these other kind of performance or luxury categories. But it's a hatchback, uh, it's 135 horsepower, and it's super functional, and it is selling like crazy over in the UK. So, Renault Zoe, congratulations to winning the best foreign EV for 2020. All right, we're getting down to our final two categories here, and we kind of saved the best for last. Uh, this one was tough, I'll tell you right now. I went back and forth with the judges here for days on this, and this is the best electric crossover. So, the nominees for best electric crossover in 2020 are the Tesla Model Y long range all wheel drive, the Ford Mach E California Route 1, and the Hyundai Kona Electric. So like I said, this was a very tough one to pick, but the winner for best electric crossover in 2020 
is the Ford Mach-E California Route 1. Coming in at $49,800 before the tax credit and just over $42,000 after, you're going to get 300 miles of range, a 0 to 60 time in right around 6 seconds, and just under 60 cubic feet of storage. All the reviews coming in are super positive about this. The handling is fantastic. The tech is good. In my own testing, even the autopilot version, they call it Copilot 360, was really well done. The backup cameras, I mean, they really nailed it here with this crossover. I know Mustang fans might be upset about that. We've heard that before. But truly, I think this is a fantastic vehicle and deserving of this award. And once again, just congratulations to Ford and the Mach-E California Route 1 for winning the best electric crossover in 2020. Okay, so last category before we move on and talk about what's coming out in 2021. And with this, we're looking at the best overall EV in 2020. What is the best EV that came out in the U.S. for 2020? And... It's kind of a no-brainer here. The Tesla Model Y is the absolute best EV that came out in 2020 overall. Now, there are some things that are better in other categories than that, but looking at what Tesla was able to do and how many they're producing and how it's changing the dynamic of the largest market segment in the US, the Tesla Model Y truly deserves to take this crown here. And again, the specs we already talked about, $49.9,000, 326 miles of range for a crossover. That's electric, that's amazing. 4.8 seconds, zero to 60, that's tremendously quick, even though this isn't the performance model. 135 miles per hour top speed and again 68 cubic feet of storage super functional very well done and a top seller overall in the u.s one that is really going to force all the other automakers to change and that is why it is really taking the cake here and wins the best overall ev of 2020. So it's been a big year for EVs in 2020, and 2021 promises to be an even bigger... Oh, crap. Sorry. Hold on. I, I thought that... Hold on. Hello? Hey. Yeah. Hey, man. What's up? Are you by any chance doing a video about like the general state of the EV world right now? Yeah, I'm doing it right now, actually. I'm, I'm filming. Oh, cool. I'll just link it to you then. Oh, cool. Yeah. So yeah, send them on over. Cool. Sweet. Hey, uh, that was my friend Joe Scott. He's actually working on a video about all the new EVs coming out in 2021 as well. So I'll put a link to that down in the description below if you want to go check that out after you're done here. But here are a couple notable EVs that I'm looking forward to in 2021 as well. So the first notable EV to pay attention to in 2021 is the Lucid Air. This is a luxury sedan that is promising to really offer something that no one else in the market is today. It'll have the longest range. It'll have the quickest performance. They're really trying to kind of up the ante from what Tesla has with the Model S, which again is where Tesla, this is the next one to, to pay attention to, is the Model S Plaid. So both of those are coming out next year or should be coming out next year and are going to be just game changers in terms of the, the what EVs can do overall. Next, you have the first true electric pickup truck with the Rivian R1T, and then what I would consider the first true electric SUV with the R1S. So both of these should be coming out next year. The R1T is the truck coming around June, and then the R1S coming around August. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned for that here on the channel. And the last EV I'll mention that I'm hoping is gonna come out next year is the new Tesla Roadster. This is going to blow the doors off of everything and would win a couple categories here for sure. And there've been a lot of hints at that. So stay tuned tuned for that. And in fact, if you actually want to see my first reaction of going to that event where they unveiled it over three years ago now, wow, uh, go check out this video over here that I put together. It's kind of a raw vlog style, not something I'm, you know, typically doing, but just some cool footage nonetheless, if you haven't seen it. So that's it for this one, guys. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And don't forget, when you free the data, your mind will follow. I'll see you back here in the next one.